Hey folks, so today we're gonna to talk about the Web Vitals Chrome extension for measuring metrics related to having a good user experience on the web. This extension is now available on the Chrome Web Store, so you can go check it out. I'll include a link in the description. I hope the quarantine has been treating you well and you found ways to keep yourself entertained. I haven't learned to do whatever this is, but I did write this Chrome extension. So let's talk about that. So backing up, um, the Web Vitals initiative tries to provide unified guidance about quality signals that are essential for anybody trying to build an awesome web experience and wants it to kind of load quickly, uh, be something that you can interact with quickly and, and generally just like be nice and stable. Um, those aren't of course the only uh, aspects of um, user experience that are important, but they're, they're a start. Uh, so the three metrics that the Web Vitals, the Core Web Vitals include are uh, largest contentful paint, uh, cumulative layout shift, and first input delay. And these are the things that correspond to loading, interactivity, and uh, layout shift. Now, one of the cool things about this extension is that it allows you to get a real-time view um, on your desktop machine of what the Core Web Vitals look like for a page. So really useful um, for getting a very quick gut check of whether you've got like problems you need to dive into a little bit more deeply in, in a tool uh, like Lighthouse uh, or, or the Chrome DevTools. The Web Vitals extension has got three core features. There's the ambient badge, which is usually either red or green. And that lets you tell if a page is passing the Core Web Vitals thresholds. I really love like browsing the sites that I'm working on or browsing the web and seeing just how many pages need a, a little, little bit of love, a little bit more work there or, or, and are in the red. Um, the next feature is uh, the detailed drill down. So if you see that a page is in the red, you can click the badge icon and it will show you like a detailed drill down for each of these Core Web Vitals metrics. Like what, what is the, the number um, associated with the metric? So like how long did your largest contentful paint take? We also show you the state of the metric. So um, for some of these metrics, uh, the values may change depending on like different things. First input delay is all about interactivity. Uh, and so you actually need to interact with the page before we can fully register that metric. For cumulative layout shift, you know, we've all been on web pages where uh, things get added to the page even after page load and they might like shift things around. Um, and so that metric may not finish stabilizing until we say, you know, you've, you've tapped away from the page to some other tab and, and the page is hidden. So just keep an eye on the state um, of those metrics too. And finally, the last feature is uh, an overlay. If you don't want to really be, you know, interacting too much yourself with the extension, you can go to options, turn on the overlay, and it'll just give you this nice heads up display view of all the metrics so that you can see them as you're working on your page. Uh, a little bit of nuance. So even though this, this extension lets you get uh, real time views into these metrics, remember that you're generally testing on your hopefully fast desktop machine. Even if it's not so fast, um, it's probably faster than an average phone. Um, in some cases, that's not always the, you know, always the situation, but it's, it's generally pretty fast. So do go check out Lighthouse and DevTools um, and try to get a sense of the performance um, of, of your experiences using both lab tools as well as field tools. So in the field, all of these metrics can be measured using web performance APIs. Um, and you can also check out the uh, Chrome user experience report in case you're not really sure how to measure these things or haven't quite got a uh, recording set up for real user monitoring. Cool, check the extension out. Um, I hope it helps discover where pages are slowly loading or have surprising layout shifts. Oh man, I'm not sure what is worse here, the McDonald's bag or the plastic bucket, but they're they're both so good. Uh, so that's it for the, the Web Vitals extension. Um, great for getting a real-time view. It's all of these metrics as you're trying to improve the user experience of your pages. I hope this was helpful. If you want to install the extension, check out the link in the description below.